Today we're going to start a new tutorial. Allegedly a lot of people have been asking me what can I use if I'm just starting out? Now this can be very confusing and I know that from you know working with multiple boards and making a lot of bad choices. So I want to show you the choices that I've made that have simplified my choices that I can bring to you. So to start with, the board on the top left over here being the Ramps 1.6 is the next generation of the Ramps 1.4 board. And it uses another board called a Mega 2560 by Arduino. And it allows you to plug into that board as a shield. Now it's an 8-bit processor, so it may seem that it's not worth purchasing, but I can tell you that most of what you want to do for 3D printing, it can handle. So it's a reasonably good choice, and it's a well-known platform that everyone has worked with initially. So one of the pluses to the Ramps 1.6 is that it has obviously multiple pins for you to work with. And that is a great thing if you want to learn to do multiple things on your board. Having those pins is a huge plus. Now the board on the top right is the Mega board for the Mega 2560. It's the exact same processor is the board on the top left. But the advantage to this board is everything is integrated into one board. You don't have to plug anything in to get it to run other than your power cables. Now the downside to this board is that the pins are somewhat closely located and there's a limited supply of pins in comparison to the Ramps 1.6, but it's significantly easier to work with than most boards, and everything is pretty much clearly labeled on the board. Now, both the boards on top are 8-bit processors, as I've said, and the other advantage to them is that with the Marlin firmware, there are three flavors that are currently available that are most commonly used, and that would be the 1.0 version, the 1.9 version, and the 2.0 version. Now, what's hard to understand is that you can use all three versions on those 8-bit processors, but the board on the bottom being the Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.3 three unfortunately will only work with Marlin 2.0 which is constantly being developed and redeveloped because there may be some minute issues that are still occurring but the advantage to this board being the SKR version 1.3 is that they've integrated in the jumper pins for other stepper drivers and they're reasonably priced within each other depending upon what you want to work with but you will not be able to use the older versions of Marlin to test if something is working or not working in your initial setup whereas the other two you can now if you did want to integrate special steppers into this being like the TMC 2130 or the TMC 2208, you would need to run jumper wires to your auxiliary pins over here in order to run it. On the SKR version 1.3, you have these actually in the board, which is a huge plus for someone like me that does not like to run jumper wires. Now, keep in mind, that there is a development environment that you can use that's different for each one of these. Originally, when I started out, I worked with the Arduino IDE for the top two boards. 
it works perfectly fine for them. But if you want to eventually jump to a 32-bit processor, you're probably going to have to start with VS Code and then download the plugin within that for Platform I.O. Now, once you understand that each one of these boards has a different thing involved with it, being either more or less pins, having to have jumper wires running around the board, or anything such as, you know, using newer components, the ramps will do about 95% of the newest components. The MKS Gen L will do them as well, but anything newer than that will have to be run on the Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.3. Now keep in mind, no one is paying me or sponsoring me to do this tutorial. So I purchased all the equipment with my own money, but will be placing Amazon affiliate links in the description for your convenience. So if you like my tutorial, please like and subscribe. And thank you for your time.